and today I'm going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Um, I, I've have, uh, I have two decks in real life for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I have a Blue Eyes White Dragon archetype and a Dino deck that I've been working on here and there. For me, when it comes to making a deck, it takes me time and, you know, I have to think of, you know, a lot of different aspects and things like that when it comes for me to make a deck. But, um, yeah, uh, I've... I had this game downloaded before and I played a lot of it and then my uh, my thermal paste in my PS4 went bad so I had to get a new PS4 and I lost all of my uh, my save data and stuff I didn't even think about that but um yeah I'm, uh, I'm actually really excited did I lose my save data or what oh wow apparently I still have all of my save data wow okay I thought it deleted it all oh shit okay but yeah um, I think I'm actually done with Duelist Kingdom yeah I need all the reverse duels. I think I have to do a reverse duel for this one. No. No. I'm here. This is where I'm at. These guys are tough. These dudes are like really fucking tough for me right now. But um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to Duelist Kingdom. I'm going to start from the beginning. Go through uh, a few duels and stuff. And I'm going to use the story deck. If I can't beat it with the story deck, then... Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, this is that was just a tutorial. Okay, so Heart of the Cards. So, yep. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to use the story deck for the standard one. If I uh, if I do the reverse deck, I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use my own decks if I have any. So this one, I'm pretty sure I have to rely on Exodia for this duel. So you're going to get a random paper. All right. So he gets to go first. Or he begs. Yeah. Figures he'd go first. All right. So he's going to set the field up for me. I miss the old Yu-Gi-Oh games where you didn't have to like do tribute summons and shit. Alright, so I got Torrike, but I got a few other cards too. Alright, so he's gonna start with defense mode and a card facing down. Hmm. Alright, so I have one arm of Exodia, so let me go ahead and activate Heart of the Underdog so I can draw. Again, so if I draw another piece to Exodia. I'm going to go ahead and activate Swords of Revealing Light. Alright. So I'm not wasting any health on that. Set this card face down and summon Torike in attack mode. And that's it for now. So this will buy me three turns at least. Nope. Oh man, I really shouldn't have placed fucking Spellbinding Circle. I hate that notification bullshit. It's like, hey, he did this. Do you want to activate this card? Huh? Huh? You want to activate it? No, I don't want to fucking activate it yet. Give me time. I know it's like, yeah... And it's like, yeah, he did this. Do you want to, uh, do you want to do this? Do you want to react yet? No, I'm good. Okay, Mammoth Graveyard, go ahead and activate Heart of the Underdog again. So now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set Beaver Warrior in defense mode. No, I don't want to activate that shit. And now I'm going to end my turn. Because I still have the Swords of Revealing Light right here, so I could use this to uh, make it last even longer. Which, that's my theory on how this duel is supposed to go anyway. That all I have to do is really just buy my time. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I don't care. Oh, it's the blur eyes weird dragon. It's the green-eyed silverback dragon thingy, that guy, yeah. Green-eyed silverback dragon, okay. Yeah, I'll activate Heart of the Underdog. Go ahead and reveal that. Nope. Alright, so I got the Dark Magician. Let me go ahead and reveal him. Draw another one. No. Okay. Actually, I'm going to hold on to Dark Hole real quick. Um, Let me go ahead and activate Graceful Charity. Okay. So I'm going to toss out... Mammoth Graveyard, and I'm going to toss out Celtic Guardian real quick. Now I'm going to play Regeki. Then I'm going to play Pot of Greed. Alright, so I got three parts of Exodia so far. Field is open. I'm going to go ahead for the attack here with Torike. Torike, whatever. Negate attack. Okay. So that's just going to stop me for the turn. 
I still have at least one turn left. I'll toss out Dark Magician. Actually, I was going to summon out Dark Magician. Crush Card Virus. Oh well. That's it. Turn change and he's wide the fuck open. Yep. Heart of the Underdog. Go ahead and activate that. Let's draw another card. Yep. Go ahead again. Yep. One more time. I don't care if I deck out. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. So now we're really just going to fuck this dude up. Monster Reborn. I'm actually going to bring back his blue eyes because that's the fucking... Uh, that's like the strongest card in play right now. Or available. Alright. He's got 1300. Yeah, they, they have 1200. Okay. So now I summon out the Horn Imp. And now I'm going to attack him directly with all four of these monsters. Go ahead. That's 3000. 1200. Another 1200. And then. Boom! 1300. Now I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna toss out Griffor and Silverfang. Get out. Take care now. Bye bye then. And I still have Spellbinding Circle and Swords of Revealing Light. I swear, this is gonna be like really fucking easy. I feel like I should have had Exodia by now. I feel kind of bad. I'm just kicking the shit out of Kaiba. Unlike it was in the show. No. Gift of the Mystical Elf. Okay, yeah, go ahead. 1,500 life points. That's not going to save you, bro. I'm going to go ahead and activate Spellbinding Circle since he literally has nothing on the field. So the Revealing Light. Let's see what the face down is. Trap Master. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. I wasn't even using that shit. Um, uh, Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. I'm gonna summon out fucking the right armor, the forbidden one. Okay, Torike, you attack first. Beaver Warrior. Horn Imp. The right, <laughs> the right arm gets the bitch slap him one time, <coughs> and then Blue Eyes finishes him off. That's not how Yugi won in the show. I'm pretty sure he had his ass beat to the wall and was like, I need a plan here. I mean, I've just kind of been kind of winging all these duels. All right, so now we got to go up against Weevil. Okay. Uh, I always skip this shit because I've seen, I've seen the original series. I've seen all the shows and stuff. The only one I haven't fully watched was Arc 5, and that's because I don't really care for Arc 5. It just kind of annoys me with the monsters. All right, Weevil... I'm pretty sure in the show, if I remember correctly, Yugi beat Weevil with um, Makiyu the Magical Mist and had some bullshit effect due to um, Summon Skull. And Weevil had the Great Moth out. So, I'm pretty sure that doesn't really work here, but you know. Hmm, if I can get the Life Point Advantage... I'm gonna go ahead and place Wasteland down. But if I can get the life point advantage, I can place Burning Land down and I could just really fuck him over. Alright, so Beast. This doesn't work for Beast. This is Dinosaur, Zombie, and Rock type. Okay, so if I can hold out for the first move, I can bring out Curse of Dragon and then go from there. So let's see how this is gonna go. What you got, Weevil? Pot of Greed, alright. Forest field spell. Of course, he's gonna power up his bugs. Laser cannon armor. I'm not surviving this first move. Shit! <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, oh yeah, I am. Nice. Sweet. All right. So now we're gonna sack Griffor, and we're gonna call out Curse of Dragon. Two thousand attack points. Field. If there are any field spell cards in the field, destroy them during each player's standby phase. Okay, yeah, so I need to go ahead and get the shot off on him here. It's only going to be 300, but, I mean, hell. Come on, life points are life points, man. That bit, that counter hit zero, you are in some shitness. Offensive swords are revealing light. Okay. 
that's fine. That gives me time to build up over here. So I got a fiend. He's already pretty strong. I'm going to go ahead and set Horn Imp in defense mode and call it a turn. I still have Karibo here, so if I get attacked, I can cancel out the damage for at least one shot. Alright, what in the hell is he playing now? Hercules Beetle. Okay. Alright, not bad. Its defense is a lot stronger than Curse of Dragon, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set Silver Fang in defense mode and get rid of him. Because he's just a fuck. He's a fuck. He's what I call cannon fodder. Yeah, he's a fodder monster. He's a trash guard. <laughs> right. Let's see. Draw. Polymerization. Okay. I'm really risking it here. But I'm going to go ahead and set Torike out. I, w I was going to just go ahead and just end my turn. Just to get rid of that fucking Swords of Revealing Light. But I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let me wait a minute on that. Let's switch to defense mode. Big insect. Is he serious? He's... Oh, okay, yeah. Wait for main phase two. He kept it in attack mode. Good job on that one. Okay, so let's see. What does he have in here? Cocoon of Evolution. That, that could bring that back as a defender, but I could be more patient and wait for someone else. See, I don't have anything really special in my graveyard, so I'm just going to hold off a Monster Reborn for now. And I'm going to take the shot at his life points. I'm expecting a man-eater bug somewhere in that, somewhere in his arsenal. I know he's got at least one in there. He's got to. Personally, I prefer Needleworm. Needleworm fucks you up bad. That's five cards from your deck right there. All right, Mammoth Graveyard, come on out. Mm, so he's at 1,400. We're going to go ahead and use Curse of Dragon to attack over here. Get rid of that. Mammoth Graveyard, attack the other one. All right, so we only lose 200. It's not a big difference, but I mean, I still have 700 life points on him. That's what I was waiting for. Draw out that Hercules beetle. Take no damage. Now I get to take out his beetle. And I can bring that at that back as a defender. So now I'm going to call out Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Alright. Mm. He's not boosted, so... This would take off a lot of that boost. What's the defense on that thing? Normally it's 2,000. Okay. Yeah, normally it's 2,000. Hmm. It's tricky here. I could play Burning Land and get rid of Forest, weaken it down, destroy it, and then check that check the face down monster there. You know what? I'm actually gonna wait. I'm going to go ahead and play the forest, or not the forest, burning land, because I have no boosts, and it'll be his turn next turn anyway, so, here we go, go ahead and take that out, that's 500, he'll take another 500 next turn, go ahead and destroy that petite moth, petit moth, whatever the fuck, petite, petit, I don't know how to pronounce that shit, I think it's petit, petit, petit. It's patit. <laughs> it's the shit, man. It's patit. Alright. So go ahead and play another one. Go ahead. Now I'll take 500. Yeah. But see, now that helps me. Because I can play this. Monster Reborn. I can go in here. And grab his Hercules Beetle at full power. And go ahead and bring him out. Now I should be able to get a shot off on his life points this turn. Go ahead. Alright. I could've I got I could have gotten a bigger shot, but I was like, I don't know what it is. And now I have the damage lead. I have the lead for life points. And I have uh, him taking damage every turn. I'll take a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. As long as I can maintain the damage lead, I'll be able to beat him. Mystical elf. Alright, we're going to play her in defense mode here. 
And now I'm going to use Curse of Dragon to attack. Reconnaissance Insect. Okay. Perfectly ultimate great moth. But, you're taking damage, man. You're going to take some damage. Go ahead. Boom. 1100 there. And we're still sitting up here at 6800. About to be 63, but hell, I plan on beating him this move. If not, I only got to wait two turns. All I got to do is defend myself for two turns, and I'm fucking gold. All right. Spellbinding circle. I'm going to take 500. I'm going to go ahead and set that down for contingency plans. And now, I use Curse of Dragon to clear the field. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, so I can't destroy his monster. Okay. No, go ahead. Because I know he wants to get rid of that killer needle for something else. Something stronger. There's that 500. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? All right, is he gonna? Is he planning to attack something? What the fuck? Is he literally just about to surrender like that? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I'll take the 500. Fuck that shit. Yeah, activate spellbinding circle and lock that bitch in there so it can't fucking do anything. I don't trust that shit. Go ahead and set that down as a contingency. Fuck you, bro. Go ahead. Alright. Had to make sure I was like, I don't trust that shit. I've never seen a bot do that in my life. Alright. So we got some more cards. We got some more dual points. The Harpy Lady. Okay. I never really liked Joey. I mean, he's got some cool cards and some cool monsters and shit, but I never really liked his character in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, everything he did was based on luck, and I hate that shit. Alright. Yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> this way, if I'm gonna get bitch slapped, at least to be in the first round. Okay. Whew. All right, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Select one spell card from your opponent's graveyard. You can use it. You can use it as your hand until the end turn. If you use it, you take 2,000 points of damage. That sounds really fucking stupid. Why would I do that? You know what? Fuck it. I got some shitty fucking scrap monsters here. Let's throw down flame manipulator in defense mode. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. I probably shouldn't have done this. Hysteric sign. I don't remember her having that. Or that ever being a card. Harpy Dancer was way after that. Oh, God. God damn it. You know what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hey, at least I'm not taking a whole lot of damage. <laughs> Here we go. I could have got hit by Harpy Lady. Uh, Harpy Lady Sisters. Shit. But all I got. Yeah, ha ha ha. Fuck you. Alright, um. Fuck, I'm going big with Armored Lizard. Go get him. Go get her. Punch her in the face. Do something. I don't know. Whatever it is you do. All right, 1,500. I got a 300 life point lead. That's good enough for now. I mean, I'm probably going to die. Fuck! Mm, this bitch. I don't like you. Stop it. Go away. Make it stop. Shit. Mm, okay, I got Pot of Greed. Everything, Pot of Greed makes everything better. Have you not have you ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, honestly. Okay. Graceful Charity. Okay, so I'm going to toss that out. And I'm going to toss him out. I'm going to save these two baby dragons. I'm going to go ahead and set one monster in defense mode. Shadow of Eyes. Of course it's Shadow of Eyes. When the fuck is it not? God damn, I hate Mai. I really hate dueling Mai and everything. Doesn't matter what it is. Because she's got, she's got the harpies that are just fucking annoying as all hell. Then she's got the Amazonas cards that are just... Ugh, they're nerve-wracking. Okay, when a monster declares an attack target, that monster changes it to defense position. Target one face a monster gains 500 attack points. Hmm. Okay, this can maybe work. Kojikasi, come on out. 
Set that face down, and I may be able to lure him into the attack. Let's see what happens. No, not yet. Wait. Can I activate both of these effects? Just one. Okay. Okay, so I can only activate one of the effects. I know which one I'm going for. Activate trap card! <laughs> Kunai with chain! I can't activate both? Beautiful. Equip. Bitch. That's what I thought. <laughs> Rude Kaiser. Okay, uh, destroyer golem. Let's go. I'm just gonna bring him out as some form of backup. I don't really want to attack the bird face because I feel like she's gonna add something really bad to her hand. Okay, that's not overly bad. That can get very bad, but it's not overly bad. All right, now if I can get past this turn and keep Destroyer Golem, I might bring out uh, Rude Kaiser. Shit. Oh well. Well, that opens her up. That makes, you know, that gives her a target. And that's okay. No. I'm pretty sure I don't want to activate that card. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send out Baby Dragon just to check that face down, but I am definitely getting rid of this. Bye, lady. Get the hell off my property. Yes. Boom. There we go. Clear the field up. Nicely done. Rude Kaiser. No. Don't want to use sword and shit with that either. Fuck. Can you, like, fucking not, please? That'd be great. <laughs> I'm finally starting to make somewhat of a comeback, and you're doing this shit. And destroy him. Okay, I am fine with that. Come on out, Battle Ox. Let's go ahead and chop away at some life points here, pal. I always liked Battle Ox. I thought he was a cool card. And then they made the Enraged one where he does uh, um, piercing damage. Uh, I just thought that was cool. Harpy Queen. No! Stop it! Why are you doing that? That is not allowed! Can't be adding those cards to your hand and shit. You crazy ass bitch. Fuck. Sword and shield, please work. <laughs> please help me here. <laughs> I need backup. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, to hell. Why is this not a quick play? <laughs> Fuck. Well, go ahead. Hit me. I don't care. I'm going to lose this one anyway. Called it. There we go. Alright. Time to bring out my decks. <laughs> I'll lose once. I'll lose once. And then I'm kicking their ass. Blockade. Dice Coin. Doom Dragon. Firepower. Mythic Depths. Spell Rave. Uprising. Oof. I don't know which one I want. You know what? I'm going to start with Blockade. This deck is meant to, like, just straight up fuck you up in many ways. If I remember why. Because it's supposed to have, like, a bunch of defenders and then just, like, over time wear you down and beat your ass. I really like this deck. <laughs> this is a strong one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not bad. Go ahead with Luster Shield. Pot of Greed. Forbidden Lance. Okay. Go ahead and set. Then set. Then set. Then set. Go ahead, bitch. Hit me if you dare. I'm ready. You're going to lose 800 attack points. I'm going to gain more defense points. Oh, yeah? That's the one? Go ahead. Alright. This is gonna be quick. Alright, Missy. Oh, you're not going to attack. Okay, that's fine, bitch. I will wait you out. And if I get bored, I will just leave and pick another deck. Okay, so 
You're better off just trying to attack me. In all honesty. Swords of Revealing Light are only really in here for, like, um... <laughs> what you call it? Uh, if I don't have any monsters yet. It's the only reason why it's really in here, because I'll normally get it if I don't get any monsters. I have three in this deck. <laughs> <coughs> Mist body. Uh, hold up. Quit monster cannot be destroyed by battle. No. I just think I'll wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a while. Let's see what happens. Alright, mountain. Let's see if that gives you some fucking courage there, bitch. Come on, Toad. I want you to hit me. Hit me. HIT ME! Forbidden Lance. There goes 800 of your attack points. Twit. <laughs> fucking twit. I should have activated that. But I was like, nah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I'll leave it for now. Let's see. This deck really pushes you to... Pull out a lot of power moves. Alright. I'll set that down. And then I'll call it a turn. Go ahead. Bring out your A game. I'm gonna set that down there real quick and just have a little fun with this. Activate the effect. He's a three and this is a four. Six. Six. Nope. In my turn. Couldn't get no kills with it. Damn. I like this. I like this one because it gives me a little bit of entertainment while I just sit here and chill. I like sit here and do a Pokemon battle on my phone and be do this duel. Honestly. <laughs> Takui and Harpy Lady. Okay. Are you trying to do a little show of force there, chick? Come on. Hit me! Hit me! Cyber Shield. Ooh. What's next? Huh, lady? It is the battle phase. Now, isn't that a thing? Oh, boy. I can't wait to fuck her up pretty good. Really? Really, lady? Hit me. Skull dice. Oh, sorry. That's graceful dice. My bad. Ooh. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Missed body. Equip it to him. There we go. Your opponent draws one card. This card must be in phase of defense mode to activate and reload. Alright, yep. Set him in defense mode. Shadow of Ass. Yeah, that card. Go ahead and activate that card real quick just to buy me a little time. Oh no, I'm gonna activate this effect. Let's see what happens. Four. Six. I'll take a six. Let's go ahead and toss the six out there. Bye bye. Yep, so it rolls the dice twice, and whatever it lands on, you get to pick. And if it lands on the same one twice, then it just goes ahead and destroys. Or it goes ahead and picks that number. Okay. Switch you into a defense mode there, Pally. Let's go again. Let's see. We got some threes and fours up here. Oh, there's a three. There's a two. So I'm going to do that three there. Let's go ahead and toss out that eagle eye. See, this is fun. I get to sit back and pick your field apart and all kinds of shit. And you gotta get past this big-ass wall plus a bunch of traps and spells. Shit. I'm, I mainly use this deck for, like, uh, helping people, like, train and stuff. Pull out big, fucking hard-hitting combos and shit like that. It's a good training deck. Defend of the Magical Knight. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and set him. And now we'll roll again. Let's see what we get. Five. Four. We'll take the four. And now we can toss out that harpy lady. So now, elegant egotist and all that shit is not really gonna be worth a lot. And, with Defender, it makes her draw more cards, so I can make her, you know, lose by deck out. Is she prepping for an attack or something? Uh-uh, lady. I'm gonna make you pay for this one. I am. You're gonna pay. I can promise you that. I'm gonna pay in multiple ways here. Because one, you're gonna pay me. Two, you're gonna be in some pain. Go ahead, attack. I mean, see, this is what I like about it. You see how the game kind of pauses and stutters there at certain points? That right there is me knowing that I'm making the game think about it. Like, is this the right move? <laughs> like, what do I do? Training shield, I gain the attack points as life points. So I'm sitting at 10,000. And she's going to take damage. Look, look at it. Look at it stutter. It's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I could break this game, and I really don't want to. Okay, let's go ahead and... I'm going to set this down real quick. Because I'm going to take out that face down, whatever that is. I'll start picking apart our spells and stuff here a little bit. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. I can make Dust Tornado real quick. You know what? I'm going to get rid of your field spell. How's that feel? Probably shouldn't have done that because I was going to make her pay a little more. But, you know. That's all good. There you go. Look, it still doesn't know what to do. It's like I've gained power and now I'm not now I'm fucked. What do I do? <laughs> Takui. Alright. See now it's making just weird random plays. Let's go ahead and set that down. They all got boosts. Let's see there's fours and sixes over there. So if I land on a four. I'm going to get rid of one of those Takuis. If I land on a six, there goes Harpy Lady. One and five. Five, I guess. Because, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work. There ain't nothing there. Hmm. Cyber Shield. Ooh. Let's go ahead and play a little cylinder. Bing! Gotcha! Harvey Channeler. Okay. Yep. Now see, what Defender's also doing, not only is he using up her deck, is he making her draw more cards and drawing out the deck, but it's also forcing her to, to start putting more cards on the field. So it makes it easier for me to pick at her. Roulette Barrel. Oh, we got a four. Oh, it's fours. Let's see, who do I want to get rid of? Let's get rid of this Harpy Channeler here. And yeah, we'll call that a turn. I still have this in case she... The only reason why I call the Haunted is in case, you know, defense boosting doesn't work and you start bringing out shit that's like really strong. Look at the lag. Look at the, the fucking lag and the fucking concern with the game. Let's see, what is it? What are you going to get rid of, huh? Oh, we're going to toss out your own card for the effect. Not bad. Send it back. You already summoned out a monster, so... Oh, what? What's it going to be? Luster Shield. I knew it. I knew it. You going to attack me, huh? Is that what you're going to do? Is that, is that that's your plan, lady? Because you're not getting at my life points. In fact, my life points are getting stronger. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm at 12,000 now. She barely has 2,000. She didn't even have 2,000. Shit. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Okay. Didn't know she had that in Duelist Kingdom. Look at the look at the amount she just had to toss out. It's three cards. Now see, this could come in handy. I'm going to set that down. Shadow of Eyes. Okay. You're not attacking me for a while, I can tell you that. 
Let's go ahead, roulette barrel. What, what do they got on the field? Fours, twos, and six. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Look at the size of her hand. I have nothing over here. I'm just sitting here just smiling, having a good old time. Missed body. She, she hates that fucking roulette barrel. She's like, I need to get rid of that, like, really fast. Yeah, you probably should. I would have went for the fucking, um, what you call it there? The, uh, Swords of Revealing Light and then attacked Gardner. So I'm gonna set that down. Let's see. Three and a one. Go one again. Alright. Honestly, she's like, I need to get rid of that roulette barrel. <laughs> but she's drawing out her deck so much she's almost nothing that she can use a lot of her cards are in the graveyard if her car if her deck called for like relying on say um say like cards in the graveyard that's a great counter for this deck if you can boost your monsters like with shadow ghoul shadow ghoul gains like a hundred um 100 attack points for every card in the graveyard that's a damn good count that's a damn good counter for this deck because this deck relies on its defense and its tricks and all that shit <clears throat> roulette barrel but yeah I just threw roulette barrel in here for some like fucking entertainment and shit so let's see let's get rid of Takui I know she's got monsters in her hand to summon out but that's not really a problem. As long as Defender can stay on the field, then I can pull this duel off. Look at the game. It's just, it's like freezing and shit, and it doesn't know what to do. It has no idea how I'm winning without even attacking. You can win duels without Here is proof. I have not thrown a single punch this entire game. I've made her hit herself. I've fucking benefited from her trying to attack. Yeah, go ahead. Toss out some cards. Shit. There you go. Ooh, I took a hit. No. Let's see. What do I have in here? It's in my graveyard right now. You know what? I'm going to bring back Defender. Yep. Call of the Haunted. Let's go, Defender. Go ahead. Still, see? She has no way to throw a punch, and I still have my monster out. Switch to defense mode. Set in defense mode. Set face down. Let me grab my cord here, because my controller is dying. And this is going to be it for my turn. Gonna draw. Nope, I don't need to activate a card. Go ahead. Can make you draw again. This is why I have Defender in here. I can make you deck out like a motherfucker. But it benefits you if you have the right effects for it. And you're running the right type of counters. Icarus attack. Two targets on the field and destroy them. Yep, figured that'd be one of them. And you'll take out my face down. Take out my monster. I would have chosen one of my face downs in all honesty. I mean, it's kind of bad when you're doing that. Here we go. Skull dice. Drop you down a little bit. 400. Oof. Now he goes into attack mode. I activate this. Take 1100, lose a monster. Oh well. I have over 10,000 life points. There's not enough cards in her deck, what's left of it, or her hand, that could wipe out my life points right now. And I know that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this in defense mode. I'm going to wait. She might get past, she's going to get past one of them. That's certain. But either way. I, I'll take a hit here. I won't take a hit either way. That doesn't matter. Because I'm about to win. And it knows I'm about to beat him by deck out. And now she has to target her own cards. 
I've turned her deck against her. Watch, yeah. Go ahead and beat that one. You're not getting past that one. <laughs> All I have to do is end my turn and I win. I don't even have to attack, not once. But you know what? I'm going to bring somebody back just to fuck with her. Let's go here. What do we got? Ain't no pet dragon in there. No pet dragon at all. I'm kind of sad. You know what, Defender? Come on back. Bring your ass on back out here. You deserve this. He literally is the hero of the deck right here. He just won this duel for me. Ba bam And that's how you do it. Let me see here. I'm going to go and... Uh... I'm gonna look at some of my decks because I don't remember a lot of them. Blockade is a defender. Doom Dragon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that one. I just got Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, a couple other cards in there. Spell Ray. This is like fiends and spellcasters and shit. Different cards, different combos. Uprising is definitely an insect car, uh, insect deck, but I don't have all the cards I want for it yet. So it's got a lot of like traps and spells and shit. Mythic Depths. It's uh, aqua, water, and uh, fish. Yep, dice coin. This deck is literally just based off of luck in like so many just random ways. But I've actually won with it. Firepower is a deck. It's like all pyro monsters and fire types. Um, I've actually won quite a bit of uh, duels with that one. It's got a lot of good combinations to it. Um, and then I don't have anything else after that. I am working on a uh, on a dino deck or something. I don't know yet. But yeah, these are uh, all the decks. You just saw Blockade. Might have to pull out Doom Dragon. Uh, well, Doom Dragon is the one I'm going to pull out next. But for right now, um, I'm going to keep using the story decks until I lose. So then will be Spell Rave Uprising all the way down to here. And if I have another deck made by then, I'll use that one too. But, um, yeah, let's see. I got 20,000. Shit. I'm gonna go to the card shop. Who do I have that isn't over 150? Do I not have any? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So let's see here. They all max out at 200. Scroll down, scroll down. If I make a warrior deck, it's instantly just going to be elemental heroes. So I really don't care for that. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Can we get anything new out of this? Command Knights going. Hain. Hain's always good. Mind Golem. It's good for a rock deck. Uh, giant Mech Soldier. Kind of useless. My. Let's see what you got. Anything... Dying Kito, the Cure Master. Yeah, Mystical Moons go for a uh, Beast Warrior deck. Just get the Mouse Fighter. Calling Dragon Yami. Good. Bombardment Beetle. I never really liked Bombardment Beetle. I wasn't a big fan of it. So, who do we got here? 13th Grave, Archfiend's Roar, Fear from the Dark, Splendid Venus. Goblin Attack Force, Goblin Pothole Squad, Baron of the Fiend Sword, and Witty Phantom. I always thought Witty Phantom was kind of a cool card. I like the design of it. Alright. Kalkimira. I hate Kalkimira cards. There's this. Jinzo uh, Jector. That's cool. Dragon Attack. The Little Swordsman of what? Ale? What? That kind of seems like a really shitty move, but yeah, okay. Goblin fan. Got him a sword and all those crappy Calcamiros. Kai, but don't let me down. You're my ace right here. Let's go. Okay, cool, cool. Dragon's Gunfire. It's a good one. The Dragon's Bead. Thousand Eyes Idol. Dragon Seeker. Kind of a counter. But, um, XZ Tank Cannon. Lava Golem. Crocodilus. Grey Wing. Honestly, if I ran a Lava Golem deck, I would fuck some people up. I thought about putting Lava Golem in my uh my Firepower deck, but I was like, I don't really have anything that can weaken it. That's the thing. If you give them something that has 3,000 attack, you have to weaken that motherfucker. Magical Hats. Dark Rabbit. Gamma. The Man with Widget. 
Mystical Space Typhoon, Crusader of Endymion. Endymion. It's one of the newer cards that I've seen. Knight's Title and Burfamet. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to sum up this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to knock out a few more duels next time. But uh, we beat, so far, we beat Kaiba, Weedle, and Mai. Next up, we got to face Mako and Rex and Bakura. We got to go through a whole list of fucking duelists. But I really like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm going to try and maybe do some more of these streams. Um, uh, there will be no streams this weekend. Um, me and Bug are going to go camping. Try to have a good time out there. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know the routine. And I'll see you later.